Hi there, my name is Alex. I work at ALS Simi Valley. Today we're going to be talking about how to use a SUMA canister to collect air so it can be sent for analysis by our laboratory. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to receive everything in a package. The, this is the canister. This is the flow controller. Once you remove everything from the packaging, save it all because you're going to have to send it back to us somehow. Just use that. Everything's pre-calibrated based on your time duration needs. For the most part, these are calibrated to 24 or 8 hours. Everything's leak checked beforehand, so you don't need to play around with anything. After that, you need to select a proper sampling location. Pretty much just avoid placing the canister near any HVAC or exhaust. Anything that can be seen from the street, you don't want to place it just to avoid confusion from the public. Once you've selected a good sampling location, you're ready to connect the equipment. First things first, just make sure that the canister is closed. It could slip during transit. You're just gonna rotate it like you're tightening the bottle cap clockwise. If it's snug, you're okay to proceed. There's gonna be a black rubber cap to ensure vacuum. Just remove that, but save it to trap your air sample a little better later. So now we're just gonna connect the flow controller to the canister. I'm just gonna take it. Um, these are all outfitted with quick connect fittings to make it easy on you. Uh, you're just gonna lift the quick connects, push down, and it'll drop down. So it's connected, we're not, the canister is not open yet, so it's not collecting the sample. Once you're ready, you can open the canister, and then you're ready for a sample. It's pulling right now. So you can move it to wherever you want. Just know that when you leave the canister, you make sure that the valve is completely open. If you're more likely you're running for 24 hours, if you start at today at 2 p.m., come back later tomorrow at 2 p.m. and uh, close off the canister. At that point, you're gonna close it off clockwise again. You're gonna remove the flow controller and you're gonna replace the black rubber cap. So sample's trapped, it's good to go, it's in here. You're gonna fill out a blue tag, which will come within the packaging in a folder. You're gonna fill out uh, your initials, the date, the time you started sampling, anything pertinent to the information that we need. It comes with a zip tie, so you can attach it to the canister, real simple, like that. And then you're ready to ship it back to us. So just use that packaging material that we used, that we used to send it to you, and that's pretty much it. Make sure everything's locked up, and you're ready to send it back to us, and we're ready for testing. So that's about it. Um, thank you for watching today.